Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Estancia Sao Carlos with me, See Waddy here, Farming Simulator 22. I have got my tanker filled up with liquid 60,000 litres of liquid fertiliser. We're now going to run round field 9 to our sprayer and hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to pull the liquid fertiliser from the truck into the sprayer and carry on with our spraying contract. Now my ploughing contract on field 9 is completed. Um, I should take 5,000 litres or thereabouts. There we go. Just position him somewhere over here. Right. Now we can get back to spray him. Boom, boom, boom. So the ploughing contract on 16 is done. The wolf is back at the farm. I have given it a quick wash. Um, I do need to fill it up with fuel again. Uh, our grass roller is still doing the grass rolling for me. Um, and yeah, pretty much all is good. Like I say, get this contract done. Then we have to move over onto field 20 and do that huge field um, but it brings in the pennies so plowing contract is completed we get 25 grand for that uh, there are a couple of cultivating contracts however we do have the slight issue that if i wanted to use mr wolf uh, for cultivate him um we can't lower the tools on the rear trailer can we unless we, unless that does work with a cultivator hmm that's something i would need to possibly explore in a bit of detail right because we could do some cultivating contracts as well. Slip a few of them in quick this month. Um, Need to get lined up 270, don't we? There we go. He can now run along and do that for me. Um, but yeah, we would need a cultivator, or we could potentially get. A bigger cultivator, couldn't we? Uh... That's 18.2. Requires 500 horsepower. Hmm. 104 grand. That could possibly work on the back of the tiger, on the wolf. Hmm. It's got me thinking, you know. It does get me thinking about how we need to um, raise the... 
raise the game a bit with some equipment, yeah? <laughs> Sorry, Fear. Randomly biting into a peanut butter sandwich mid recording. Get a screenshot for today's thumbnail. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, I might need to move the truck. <laughs> Have him over here a bit, out of the way. I know he's kind of blocking access to my farm at the minute, but it is a little bit better than having him block the path of the sprayer. All right, <clears throat> let's have a look. See, so Wolf is there. Like I say, he does need to be refueled, and we do need to drop the plow off somewhere so i'm just gonna drop that over here so yeah if we decide to go get a big cultivator we'll be okay Park him in here then. Next to the harvester. That'll be a good idea. So yeah, if I decide to get a cultivator, he will be the man to do it. Um our big harvester's there. <clears throat> Cause yeah, I've got my 10 meter cultivator, but that's not gonna work, I don't think, with the wolf, because the rear hydraulics on the um, wolf don't move. Yeah, there's my weight, look. Six fifty. Yeah, that should be on the John Deere. <coughs> and the weight on the John Deere should be on the um. Oh, you got stuck. You got stuck hard. Come 
can't trust the workers to do a job right, can you? Like, how hard is it not to drive into a fence? <laughs> you know? How difficult need it be? Back on track. This field's going to give us 32 grand. And then lastly, 84 grand for field 20. Uh, cultivating jobs. I mean, you're looking at 27, 40, 50, nearly 55 grand for some of them, for knocking them out quick. There's a sewing job on field 16 for potatoes for 43,000. Yep, not doing that one. Um, I'd say some, some big money in forage harvesting. If you're prepared to get your hands dirty. I could say I'd need a trailer, wouldn't I? Big trucky trailer. Mm. That'll do nearly sixty thousand. Uh, pretty much. Moves everything. That's That one can do a fair bit. And the TLX tipper can do quite a lot. Ah, uh, just thinking about the tipping points on a lot of these. Um, silos. For 83,000 litres, that'd be quite nice. Keep the uh, forage harvester running for a bit, wouldn't it? Dragging that up and down the field. Or would we? Or would we get an auger wagon and work between? So the truck isn't having to drive all over the field. It's only having to drive to the cell point. We could have an auger wagon, chaser wagon. Going between forage harvester and truck. Keep the, um, try and keep the forage harvester running then while the truck's off delivery. Yeah, we could get something like this, couldn't we? Um, doesn't do chaff. Or bulk material, that one will. Mm. 
Mm, that one doesn't do chaff either. Okay. Because <clears throat> we've had one of these before. It wasn't brilliant. I mean, that one will do 71,000. Again, doesn't do chaff though. Um, I mean, that'll do 45,000. Uh... Hmm, there's not a lot that will do what I want it to do. I mean, that one will do... Won't do chaff. That one won't. In fact, out of all of those, the only one that will actually do what I want it to do is that one. Hmm. Hmm. Might have to get one of those then. I didn't realise the other org wagons were so poor. Right, we are down to our last one percent. So we'll refill. Because most of these are going to give us a truck and trailer. Aren't they? Like that one. Sheila McFarland, Field 24. So we could have two trucks in operation. But ideally, we need something running, like I say, we're going to need something running between the trucks and the trailers. Right, we are going to course play this.
Right. Start at first wave point. Off you go. So, started that, we can move the truck now. We can actually park him in this little lay-by bit, can't we? So he's nicely out of the way. How's Mr. Roller getting on? Mr. Roller is nearly... He's got a couple of rows to do. thing I need to start thinking about then is what am I going to put on this bit of land over here what are we going to put there hmm what are what are we going to need Hmm. Quite a big area. I mean, silos. I mean, if we was going to go chaff crazy and make lots of silage, then obviously a bunker like this would be fantastic for that. <laughs> um... I 
in a 400,000 litre silo. Is potentially something we want. Hmm. I mean, we 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 walked, looked at everything like that. Productions. I mean, what could we get? I mean, grain mill, make flour. I suppose. Um, Potato processing. Preserved food factory. Soup factory. I mean, obviously, we've got animals. And we could go Dragon's Den. Uh, brain Mill? Dragon's Den Grain Mill? Dragon's Den Oil Plant? Could give us a bit. From the crops that we are going to be putting down. Um, could well be something to look at. Obviously, we've got all the greenhouses and the orchards, so we could get into fruit production. Um, there's the maple trees, small orchards. I mean, even the, I mean, to be fair, the small orchard takes up quite a bit of space. Um, but it's an option for us. Something to consider. He's about to run out of his go-go juice. Perfectly timed. All right, I'll run over here, refill him, bring him back over. And start him working again. As I say, big field this. Most of this fertiliser tank will get used on this field.
but we're filled up or we're filling up nicely and um, yeah we'll be able to go back start him up again carry on with the spraying like I say money's looking good at the minute I know I've taken out a lot of higher purchase and finance deals for a lot of this equipment but so I've not really paid for anything yet it's on payment over time but it's nice to build up the capital a little bit. No, it's back here. I think. So, now we need to change that to the nearest waypoint. And go. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it there for today's episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. I will bring you all back for another episode very soon. But for now, from me, see Waddy. Take care of yourselves, ladies and gents. Stay safe. Goodbye.